Have you ever wondered where is the cheapest area to buy a house in the UK right now in 2022? Well, I'm gonna hit you with the cheapest area. In fact, I've got the 10 cheapest areas in the entire country, and I'm gonna give you them right now. I've done a lot of research into this video so that you don't have to. So if you enjoy my channel, do me a favor, hit the like button. Here we go, I'm gonna start with the 10th. The 10th cheapest area in the country right now to buy is a place called Keeley. Keeley is BD21. Keeley, the average house you can buy in Keeley is 91,833 grand. That's crazy. Buying a house for less than 100,000 pounds. Let me tell you something really interesting about Keeley as well before I move on to point number nine. Keeley, I've got so many students that are crushing Keeley right now. JL. JL Spooner, who was one of my first ever students, she's buying houses in Keeley really cheap and she's buying them on lease option agreements. So that means that she's saying, okay, the house is worth 91 grand. I'll buy it for 100 grand. I'll pay you 10,000 pounds over the odds, but I'll pay you in seven years. So she's securing all these properties in Keeley, but then she's renting them out on a room by room basis. Evans is doing the same. My boy Evans Willie just secured, I think it's a seven, eight bed HMO with, and he's just got planning permission to put a, a, an apartment below in the basement. So it's a very, very cheap area where you can make lots of money. That's number 10. Number nine, even cheaper than Keeley. You wanna know where's cheaper than Keeley? I'm gonna hit you with it. Liverpool, L20. Maybe you think Liverpool's the cheapest area in the UK. It's not. It's the ninth cheapest. Uh, the average price in L20 Liverpool is £91,793. And Liverpool is one of those areas that I believe, I've been saying this for the last couple of years, is up and coming. The city of Liverpool is banging. Serviced accommodation works really well there as well. People are traveling, they're going to watch the matches. Do shopping, you know, crept. Crept and Conan, I helped Crept buy a house in Liverpool. He bought a house for 43,000 pounds. But it was run down, he rents that out as a HMO. So there's demand for HMOs, serviced accommodation. L20, average price, 91,793. Number eight, what's up next? I haven't got too much familiarity with this place, okay? This is Lancashire, BB11, also 91,516, so slightly cheaper than L20 Liverpool. And um, I've done a bit of research on Lancashire, specifically this part of Lancashire in BB11, where you can buy houses on average for 91,516 pounds, and the average rent is 455 pounds. So the thing is with that, this is why I've never been there, is BB11, although you can buy a house for cheap, 91,516 pounds. The rent is also really cheap, like 555 pounds. So the return on investment is not gonna be amazing. I'm sure it's better than lots of places, but that's Lancashire. Anyway, up number seven. The seventh most cheapest part of the country. Where do you think it is? Tell me where it is. Stanley. Stanley is DH9, and you can buy a house for 91,391 pounds. The rent is higher than BB11. So you're buying it a bit cheaper and you're renting it higher with the rent at 492. Next up, five. We're almost halfway there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are, hit like. I spend so much time researching this stuff. Most of these areas, I've bought houses myself as well, so I'm not just giving you the, 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 the figures, I'm also giving you the stories and the backstories about the areas. Uh, next is Peterlee. Peterlee SR8. I recently bought a house in Peterlee, okay? The average house, in SR8 Peterlee, the average house is 85 grand. Can you believe that the average house is 85,000? To be specific, 85,274. That's like how much houses were worth 15, 20 years ago. Crazy. I recently bought a house in Peterlee, or just next to it, for 36,000 pounds. And the rent on that is about 500 pounds a month. So again, the returns, I wrote a whole book called Buy Low, Rent High. The returns are staggering in Peterlee. Number five, Shildon. Don't know much about Shildon, but when I did a little bit of Google research, there was a murder there last week. So don't think just because an area is really cheap that you should definitely rush to go buy a house there because if there's like murders happening, you might get bad tenants. It's not just about the return on investment, it's also about the quality of the tenants. So Shildon, the average house in Shildon DL4, which is part of County Durham, is just 73,637 pounds. So you can buy an average house in the area for 73 grand. It's gonna get even cheaper in a minute. This is gonna blow your brains. Next up, Grimsby, number four, in fourth place, DN31. 
DM31, the average house. What are you, what are you guessing, guys? I'm saying, I'm telling you right here. 71,105 pounds. Let me tell you something interesting about Grimsby, because I've invested in Grimsby previously. I've also packaged and sold a lot of HMOs in Grimsby. Grimsby is completely unregulated as far as HMOs go. So you can buy a house in Grimsby. On average, you're going to pay 71 grand, which means you're going to put down a deposit of 25%, which is what, about 20 grand? So if you've got 20 grand, you can buy a house right now in Grimsby. Grimsby is unregulated as far as HMOs are concerned. There's no Article 4. So you can buy a house and you can rent it out on a room-by-room -room basis. Now that is what I was doing back in 2016. And um, that we had quite a few of my students that were like absolutely went crazy on Grimsby because it was so cheap. At the time, I think the average house was like 60 grand. It's gone up a little bit. And they were buying houses in Grimsby like bang, 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 renting them out room by room. And because Grimsby's a small place, what happened was it got, it got a little bit oversaturated. So Grimsby suddenly became like HMO city. And there was just rooms. There was so much supply of rooms that suddenly the rooms became hard to rent out because there wasn't actually that many people looking to rent rooms. However, I feel like the tables have turned now because it got oversaturated, people stopped doing HMOs in Grimsby. Now, actually I think it's a pretty viable business model. So you can buy an average house in DN33 Grimsby for 71 grand and you can legally rent it out room by room without a license if there's less than five people, without planning permission, no Article 4, that's crazy. Next up, number three. Number three, cheapest in the country is Sunderland. Sunderland is so cheap. M my friend just bought, he was going to buy a house in Sunderland, but instead he bought a whole apartment block. <laughs> okay. He bought a whole apartment block, 28 apartments. The average house in Sunderland is just 65, this is SR1, center of Sunderland, 65,478 pounds. So you can literally buy a, go buy a house for 65 grand. And again, you can rent it out room by room. Um, my friend Pete found this apartment block because it was so massive. The, the guy that was selling it wanted 650 grand, but that's for 28 apartments. And Pete didn't have the money. So Pete said to him, same story, I'll give you 650 grand, but I'll give it you in seven years time. And the seller's like, well, my apartment block is pretty run down, needs a bit of work. He was, he was like not particularly, he, he'd lost interest in it. So the seller was like, all right, fine, give it me in seven years time, but I want you to pay me rent. So you're gonna pay me rent for the, I think it was, they agreed 4,000 pounds a month. Yeah, four. So he agreed, my friend Pete, to pay the seller 4,000 pounds a month for an entire apartment block of 28 apartments with an option to buy at the end of the seven years for 650. Pete bought the apartment block and spent 20,000 pounds which he didn't even use his own money. He used my friend Tony's money who we met on my training, but that's another story. So he then does the property up, like refurb. He put the advert on spareroom.co.uk. I am not kidding. Kerry's behind me as my witness. How, how many people, Kerry, were wanting, were wanting to rent those, those apartments in, in, um, in Sunderland? I think yeah, over 400. Over 400, right? So people just like, literally within a day, bang, 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 bang. People are like, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. So Pete rents out the whole block. Woo! Okay, but then he gets a revaluation done for 800,000. So he's made 150,000 pounds in forced equity. He's, he's renting the whole block out for, I think, way over 10 grand a month. So he's making income. So Sunderland is an interesting area, very cheap. But number two, I thought this was number one, but this is number two. Number two, the second cheapest area in the country is Bradford, BD1. Interesting that a lot of the cheapest areas are in the center. Maybe it's because the centers aren't very good. Maybe they're a bit crap. Maybe they're a bit run down. But you could buy a house in Bradford for 58,000 pounds, 673. That's not even how much you can buy a house for. That is the average house price. 58 grand average house in BD1. Again, there's no Article 4. You can then rent them out room by room. Obviously, before you do this, check the supply, check the demand. But that takes me now to number one. The cheapest area to buy a property in the UK right now is Middlesbrough. Now, I've got a lot of houses in Middlesbrough. I've bought a lot of houses in Middlesbrough. You may have seen on my YouTube before. The average house in TS1 Middlesbrough right now is £54,978. Now, this is the interesting thing about Middlesbrough. You can buy a house for 54 grand. That's an average house in TS1. But the rent 
on average is 602 pounds. That means that your, your, your yield is 13.3%. Your return on investment, if you were to get a mortgage, can be 20% or higher, which means that your investment is paid back within five years. Middlesbrough so cheap. Anyway, I'm gonna to go to Middlesbrough now buy some more houses. I wanna know which area do you think is the best? Not just the cheapest, the cheapest is Middlesbrough in the country, but where would you invest if you were gonna invest in one of those 10 areas? What did you make of the video? Comment below, I read every comment. Don't forget to subscribe, I'll see you next time.